Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th. So this is for whoever it resonates with, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is just a daily energy. Keep in mind, this may not resonate for a couple days. Okay, keep that in mind. We're gonna get one of these. We're gonna, get one, we're gonna use this as the deck. We're gonna get one of those. This is just gonna be an overall energy for this reading. Introspection. Time, time to step back. Focus. Become self-aware. This is a time of solitude, perhaps. Perhaps a lot of people are going within. You know, going within to plan, to figure out where they're going. It's a time of solitude and introspection at this time. Get one of these. Becoming aware. You know, it's kind of like going within. to figure out what the next step is. You know, here we have the garden and the gate. Do you go through? Do you go through? Do you stay where you're at? What are you waiting for? It's like somebody has been waiting for somebody something to arrive, waiting for arrival of some sort, but, you know, how long can you wait? While waiting, you know, life is passing by. Perhaps it's just time to go. It's like somebody has kept themselves, you know, behind this self-imposed barrier when they have an opportunity to broaden their horizons, to see beauty beyond, and for some reason they're, they're, they're choosing not to go when they have an opportunity to just go, right? There's so much to see. There's so much waiting. So I feel like somebody is becoming consciously aware, you know, of what what's to come. You know, what is to come. That's what the con that's what the focus is on. What's to come? Mm. Two of Pentacles reverse. There's a there's a lack of balance. Somebody has made a poor decision, and it feels like. Something is quite messy. Things have probably been turned upside down. Mmm. Interesting. It's like there's a lack of cooperation. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of teamwork. It's like you're constantly battling um, the competition. It's a constant competition. And this competition that somebody is allowing themselves to be in is causing a lot of conflict. It's causing a lot of tension. It's too much. It's too much. And I feel like that's why we have this hermit card. You know, I gotta, I gotta come up with a new plan because this is overwhelming. It's too much. We got somebody here that isn't
you're finding a lot of peace in a situation, right? Huh. And it's like now that it's, they know that it's time to take a new approach. It's time to to get out there. It's time to socialize. It's time to you know, change my direction. But the only way for me to change my direction is to go within and figure out what direction I want to go in. Somebody's been feeling pretty lonely and um, discontent because they weren't getting what they deserved in a situation. They made some poor decisions which caused their life to be disorganized and now the only way to get things back where they need to be is to refocus and replay it and figure out you know what the next step is how can I take my take back control of a situation how can I take back control of my life what's my next step so I feel like today is a day of really going within and coming up with a new approach as to how I'm going to get out of this conflict, how I'm going to deal with this tension in my life. Um, I'll focus this in a little bit more once we have this laid out. Um, I think we do have a message that is coming or has come in that has caused some mild conflicts in another person's life, in your life. You know, it's caused some conflicts. Perhaps you're dealing with an immature individual who, you know, thinks without talking. Or maybe that's even you. Whatever. You could be dealing with somebody who is a little lippy, you know, that has been causing some tension in your life. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who likes to cause drama. And, and they're doing quite a good job at it. Um, and you need to figure out if you even want this person in your life. I don't know. Yeah, it looks to me like somebody has been worried. Somebody has been worried and anxious and maybe even a little over, or definitely overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with thoughts of how are they going to make progress? How are they going to succeed? You know, how am I going to be successful? And they're really letting them... It's really, they're really letting themselves get overwhelmed with fear of not having enough, you know, not being successful when you have the power. You do have the power. You have the resources within you to be successful. It's all about taking action. It's all about manifestation. It's all about, you know, making the changes that you need to make, really, really taking action. So I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding, you know, Perhaps it's time. Perhaps it's time for me to do what's right for me and step outside of this conflict. You know, I, I need to uh, be happy again. I need to love myself. I need to um, start over. So I, I, I feel like we have somebody here that all I want is happiness. All I want is happiness. I just want, I want to dance. I want to dance. I want to have fun. I want to I want to live my life to the fullest and wherever I'm at, where, where I'm at right now, this, this, I'm feeling too alone. I'm too alone and I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting more. So I feel like somebody has been really thinking about, you know, I'm going to have to make a drastic change to get what I want. And they're really worried about, you know, taking this new road, worried about who's going to get hurt in the process. But the fact of the matter is that you have to do what's right for you. You do. You do. Because once you love yourself, you know, everything else falls into place. I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, is ex probably going through some sort of pain. They're going through some sort of um, 
uncomfortable situation that is going to um, lead to abundance, that's going to lead to to a happier place. But in order to get to this happier place, they're going to have to really um, deal with the pain of of letting go of what no longer serves them. And I feel like, you know, even though I don't want to hurt anybody else involved, I have to do what's right for me. I have to. I'm going to I have to. I feel like um, we have a renewal here. We have some sort of rebirth that is waiting for somebody to just, just take it. You know, this new life, you have this opportunity to, to be happy, but the only way that you're going to be happy is to step into your own power, to take your power back. And I feel like that's where we're at. You know, it's, it's kind of... Um, uncomfortable to you know put yourself first sometimes but you have to you have to because it's a it it's a terrible terrible um competition out there i mean it's a competition it's a constant it's a constant competition this life is a constant competition if you don't if you don't stand in your own power you know, somebody else is going to take it. If you don't hold on to your power, somebody else is going to take your power. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, like, ready to fight. I'm ready to fight for my myself. i got to do what's right for me. Um, I mean, we have this empress here. The empress is a person that knows her worth, right? She does. She doesn't settle for less than she deserves, she knows that she deserves to be happy and she will not settle. She will not settle. She won't settle for half-assed situations. So I feel like we have a person here that is ready. They're ready for their new life. They're ready for um, basically just happiness. Um, and I, it looks to me like somebody is finding those resources within to deal with the competition you know I'm gonna have to deal I'm gonna have and the people that deal with the haters deal with the people that are up against them you know what I, I, I'm gonna win I'm gonna win I'm the I'm the boss of my life right so I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is probably going to let go of their stability you know their insecurities they're going to they're going to face their insecurities right they're going to face their instabilities right i'm going to i'm you know, i can't save something that isn't meant to be you know if this isn't if it's causing me this much stress you know if it's causing me this much um mental anguish you know it is it's really time for me it's time for me to take a new approach it's time for me to you know find that courage and that confidence and that strength to bring balance to my life and I gotta do whatever I gotta do to bring balance I gotta take the lead here I gotta be the boss so I really feel like somebody is deciding to take back their life I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make me happy the time is now right now I can't live in this <laughs> upside down disorderly um, disorganized chaotic situation anymore it's not true to me and it's not true to me I don't want I feel alone so if I'm feeling alone I might as well be alone that kind of situation you know and I'm wanting more so I really feel like we have somebody that is going to follow their bliss you know I'm, I'm going I'm going I want to I want to start over you know mm. yeah I want happiness I want happily ever after I, I want the whole deal I want the whole package so somebody is is really deciding that I can't put in effort 
to an unhappy situation anymore. When I, when I see that everybody else, I see that so many people have this happily ever after, and that's what I want. Oh, there's that hermit again. It's like I, I see the light. Somebody is. A time of introspection and stepping back is giving somebody the opportunity to see things more clearly. And I feel like somebody has seen the light that, you know, I want this. I want the long-term happiness. I want somebody that is that I'm compatible with. You know, I really feel like somebody may be turning their back on a unhappy situation with a partner, perhaps. Could be in a family situation. I don't know. Somebody is turning their back and going their own way and heading towards something more emotionally fulfilling, more, more, more compatible, more uh, stable and secure. Yeah. Somebody is leaving an unhappy situation. I mean, I can't make this shit up. I can't. I mean, these are both unhappy. It's like somebody is deciding that I have to. I have to leave this unhappy situation. There's no more growth here. And I'm looking for extreme happiness. I'm just not, I'm not looking for the mediocre life. I'm looking for extreme happiness here. So I feel like we have somebody that is finally deciding that it's time to stop. It's time to stop waiting. It's time to stop feeling alone. It's time to stop pretending that this is a happy situation. It's time for me to take back my power. It's I'm consciously aware now that I want I want the whole deal. I want the whole package. And it looks to me like somebody is deciding to step out of their cave, step off of the mountain, or come out of hiding and head towards this new life, right? The Empress gives birth to a new life. I'm I'm headed towards a new life. So we could have somebody that has been in hiding. They, you know, were conflicted about communicating. They were conflicted about taking the power. They were conflicted about a relationship. They were conflicted about, you know, whether they should leave where they're at and, and or head towards you or whether they can even come out of hiding at this time, whether they wanted to be alone or not. You know, there's all the nine yards. We had somebody that was really conflicted. You know, really, really thinking a lot about their future and where it's going. And, you know, knowing that wherever they're at right now, their prayers are not being answered. And the only way that their prayers are going to be answered if they is if they take action. You know, you have to you have to tell the universe and God and angels that you're ready, whatever. And I feel like somebody is deciding that, you know what, it's time for me to take my power back and head out. To head out of this unhappy situation into something you know, this is what I want. I want this. I want abundance. I want prosperity. I want something that is, you know, easy. Because I know that I'm worth it. So I feel like we have happiness that is right around the corner because somebody is wide awake. It's like they know that they have to take action to go get this happiness. We have Virgo. We have Taurus. We have Libra. We have Leo. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Gemini again. Um... We have anybody. It doesn't really matter who we have. But it looks to me like somebody, at their time of, you know, introspection that they have been in, it's like they're, they're probably just about over it, you know, or they need to go in it. It could go either way. Either it's time. It's time to go in and replan. It is. How long are you going to wait? Somebody's been waiting a long time. And they've been feeling alone, whether they've been in a partnership or not. There's a lot of loneliness here. There is. There is. And it's like, I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be alone anymore. I want this. I want security. I want stability. I want happily ever after. And it, it looks like somebody's like, you know, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. 
So somebody could be receiving, you know, you see what's on the bottom. It's like somebody is coming to take her by the hand. This is the Queen of Swords. Okay. You see somebody's taking her hand. It's like, you know, she's been protecting herself. She's got that that weapon in her hand still, you know. She's she's like, don't come too close. You could get hurt, right? Um she's been hurt. She's been hurt. And so she's just sitting there waiting for her hero to arrive. She's like, if you if you dare to come and get me, come and get me. You know, if you dare to, if you're are you strong enough to be my man? That kind of energy. You know, we got this man that's that's like, Yes, I am strong enough. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming. He's coming to take her by the hand. He's like you know, you see, he's coming to take her by the hand. So I feel like there is this this person that has been waiting, protecting themselves, and probably um, this woman has gained a lot of independence. She's gained a lot of wisdom through suffering, and that's why she hasn't let her guard down yet. But it looks like she's she's think this man she's looking right at him. She's looking right at this man and she's like And she she gave him her hand. She gave him her hand. So she's just she may be starting to trust. She may be I mean she put her sword down. She's not holding it up. She put it down. So maybe she's she's deciding, you know what? Maybe I will put my sword down. Maybe I, maybe I will let you take me by the hand. So maybe she's seeing things from a new perspective now. Maybe she's been enlightened through solitude. She has been alone, right? So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably starting to let somebody in. Maybe they're finally realizing I am ready to let somebody in. I'm ready. You know, I think that we have somebody here that may be deciding that It's time. It's time. It's time to come out of hiding. It's time to stop protecting myself. It's time to begin again. It's time to be happy. So yeah, I I feel like we have somebody that is is uh, is deciding that it's time to. It's time to be loved after not being in a happy situation, after feeling so alone and being alone and not allowing anybody in. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's the end of loneliness for some of you. It is. Because you have taken the time to heal from the pain. Now you're about to receive a blessing. A blessing is coming. And whoever this, whatever this blessing is that's coming. It's almost like you trust it. You're allowing it. You're not going to fight it anymore. So I don't know who this is for, but it looks to me like somebody is about to, you know, let somebody take them by the hand. Let their guard down. Stop protecting themselves. Maybe they get invited. So maybe somebody's going to invite you to a dance. They're going to invite you somewhere, perhaps. I mean, this is like a dance. Now, it won't be for everybody. But then again, see the hands again. So I really feel like somebody is, is coming to, you know, take you by the hand. And it could lead, whatever this is, you know, this person that has been in hiding, you know, it looks to me like this person has absolutely been enlightened. 
Well, somebody has been waiting for an arrival. And I have to tell you, I think it's here. I think it's coming. I think it's like right around the corner. They're coming. They're coming. Think positive, okay? Think positive. We have a opportunity just to, you know, be happy. To start a new life. Let go of the depression, let go of the anguish and the fear. Think positive. Open yourself up. Put your guard down. It looks to me like you're starting to, you're starting to open up. So yeah, I, I mean, other than that, I think that, you know, somebody has an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. If they let somebody in. It, it's, it, I think that there is somebody that is going to step outside of their comfort zone and head in your direction and perhaps ask you out. Maybe it's something you been you manifested. It's like this magician that's manifested. It's like you manifested this happiness. Just, just let this person help you, whoever it is. Let this person in. Put that, put that guard down. Put that weapon down. And accept. What, why, why? Just do it. Good luck.